Hey there guys, welcome back for another Paint It Like The Card Hero Quest uh, video. And so, this week, as you can see, we are painting the mummy. Um, pretty simple this one, six colours and a wash. Um, obviously we can see that the, um, the rags are a sort of um, a very light, sort of sandy brown, um, pale colour. Um, and then the skin seems to be a very sort of cool um, blue green grey um, so we'll be mixing that up um, basically we'll be mixing up a grey and then adding a little bit of blue to it just to uh, give it that bluish tint and then obviously you've got the white eye the uh, whitish teeth and the red tongue so uh, fairly easy what we're going to do first obviously I've gone ahead and primed the model for the first colour, it's a little bit darker than obviously what's showing on the card, um, but we're using sandstone. This is going to be a base colour that will get a wash over the top of it. So as always, there'll be uh, very few edits or cuts in this. Most of it will be um, just sort of sped up as I fill in. Hmm bottles down there or things down there can we get some paint out there we go I think that should be enough for now all I'm going to do with this is literally coat over the whole of the model um, the skin will be doing after we've done the the rags and I'll show you why once we get round to actually doing it So I've done one of these actually with um, the Citadel um, contrast paints and a bit of dry brush and stuff. It actually came out really nice looking. Um, I will be doing a similar series to this with some of the uh, the spare miniatures. Um, so obviously we've got multiples of like the skeletons and stuff, especially with the first two expansions, uh, Keller's Keep and Return of the Witch King. Um, they are pretty much just duplicates of the main, sort of the core box uh, monsters. So if you would like to see those done with the, uh, the Citadel contrast paints, then let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make some of those videos for you. And also, um, obviously, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more, then make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Um, I am now streaming over on Twitch and also here on YouTube as well. So if you want to watch me live paint other miniatures, um, usually commission work or personal projects, then obviously you're going to want to follow over there or subscribe over here and make sure you've got your notifications on um, so that you get notified when I go live. Um, I usually post about half an hour before I'm going live over on uh, TikTok and Instagram. Again, all the links for this is down in the video description. So if you do want to watch me paint some live and then you can talk to me, ask me questions, um, anything you want, basically, then uh, you'll have the opportunity to do that over on live. And eventually, once I hit the thousand, and we start getting uh, members with the join function and that, we will be having um, subscriber or member only streams where you'll be a little bit more um, sort of not interacted with as much. You know, I like to try and interact with everybody, but you know, just be a little bit more private for you as a way to say thank you for uh, supporting the channel a little bit more, but obviously at the minute, I'm just trying to get that 1,000 subscribers uh, over here. 500 is what I'm aiming for on Twitch, but here I would like to hit that 1,000. And we are almost there. We're getting there. So I'm just going to speed the video up now, just so you're not watching me paint this colour all over 
and uh, we'll come back in a bit. Okay, so you can see we've got a uh, couple of layers on that already. Just going to wait for that to dry now and then we'll cut back. A quick note, you can see these horrible um, mold lines down here. I did do a bit of scraping away, but this is what I mean with the Hero Quest miniatures. Um, they are designed to play with more so than paint. Um, so yeah, you get some horrendous mold lines on there. But obviously we're not too worried about that, we're just looking to get some cool painted minis on the tabletop or on the gaming board. I've just realised they're actually doing with, he's missing the tip of his thumb on here, um, which is pretty cool. <laughs> he's missing a bit of thumb. So yeah, we'll uh, let this dry and then we'll come back for the next step in just a bit guys. Okay, so with that now dry, we need to apply a wash to this. And for this, I'm going to use Battle Mud Wash. Now this is quite a um, a dark wash. I'd say it's a little darker than the... Um, get the ball out of there. Uh, what's the Citadel equivalent? Um, I can't remember it now. <laughs> um, Damn, that's completely gone. But the Citadel equivalent to the mud wash. Um, I can't believe I can't remember that. So what I'm actually going to do is take a little bit of the sandstone, uh, just a small amount, mix that in, and then mix in some water. Um, I am doing this on a wet palette, but it's fine. Um, it'll be enough. So all that's done now is obviously change the color slightly lightened it down and also add in that sort of brush full of water i'm using a size six i'm um, just a generic cheap uh brush if you're in the uk i get these from the works um they're like 2.99 for a pack of i think seven brushes six or seven brushes um so yeah and then we're just going to apply this all over to mix up a little bit more that was just enough for the front so yeah we'll mix up a bit more um, the mix that I'm doing is pretty much three drops of the the wash with literally that much just the tip of a brush mixed in with it uh, maybe a little bit more than that so double that mixed in with it and then two full brush loads of water so fairly you know not too much on there and a good brush with a drip on it mix that in remove the water again and then go back with so we've got another drip on there and then that's then thin enough to be the wash that we want and then all we need to do is just literally cover the model and then let it dry so that's going to take probably uh, give it a good 10 to 15 minutes to dry 
as we're going to be dry brushing over this and we do not want any of this wash um, contaminating the the dry brush layer so you can see I'm just sort of moving it around making sure that it sits in the recesses it is a little thinner um, so you can see it's pulling quite much quite a bit but that's going to settle down and that will be fine so we'll uh, come back once that's all fully dried okay so once that's dried we should have something that looks like this and you can see it's sat in those recesses even on the um, each individual bandage you can see that it's actually left a nice uh, natural highlight on the top and bottom of the bandages but what we're going to do now is take some skeleton legion and I'm using here a small artist opus series D dry brush and I'm just going to get some paint on there like so and remove the majority of it so what I'm looking for is when I pull it across the tissue you can see it's just a little bit coming off and then all I'm going to do is come from top down like so is going to create the extra highlights and just lighten up those bandages a bit. It's also going to add a little bit of a, a fuzzy texture to it that you get from dry brushing but I think that that just adds to the detail and the sort of the dirtiness of the uh, the bandages. Okay, next I'm going to take some white star. I'm going to mix in a small amount of the skeleton hoard so just dipping it in as though I wanted to dry brush with it and then just mixing it with that white until I get this lighter colour mixed up on the palette and within the bristles and you can see on the tissue uh, hopefully with the light that it is a little bit lighter and then all I'm going to do, just on the one side of this guy, I'm just going to come down like so. And just where the, the light would catch on the upper areas on this side. There we go. Now, the camera's not picking it up perfectly. Um, but yeah, hopefully you can see what I've got there. Okay, so moving on to the skin, um, I'm going to put down some Death Reaper, some White Star, and a little bit of Elysium Blue.
Yep, made a mess of that one. And that'll be enough of the blue. Okay, what I'm going to do first is make a 50-50 mix with the white and the black. And this will determine how much more black I need to make to get the darker tone, but I think that should be alright once I add the blue in there. And then take a small amount of the blue and basically just keep adding to it until I've got that blue tone, that sort of cool grey. And then I'm going to add a bit more black just to darken this up. Just a touch more black. And just mix that into half of the total mix. And that's going to give us the sort of the undertone of it. Now I'm using the size 1 here um, because obviously we want to get the skin but we want to be careful not to go over or get any on the uh, the bandages that we just worked really hard and took ages doing. Just working round, trying to work out where the bandages are separated and showing the skin. It's not always, well, it's not easily apparent on some, some areas. So just take your time and uh, see where, where they are. So it's both knees should be both elbows as well just because where the uh, the joint bends that's going to peel it open there is this triangle area in the belly here and then a slit here I think from the looks of it this is some thigh Follow that round, see where it goes. Looks like it closes off. Yep, that closes off. Um, this back we have here, here. Uh, we'll do that as bandage. So there's his elbow. Obviously his feet down this side, uh, the heel here, get that bit in there, Piece of the neck. Most of his face here. Otherwise covered as a bit there. His elbow. And he's got parts of his head exposed. And then these fingers. Um, 
that looks like that is the hands as well there. And on this hand, it's just there. Not much of a hand really, it's a bit mushed. And I think that is it. Yep, so that's the uh, the cooler grey. Next we can use the lighter side that we left and just go over these areas just applying a bit of highlight on the top side of them just on sort of the, the bony areas the fingers across the top of this mess <laughs> I suppose we'll put a little bit in the belly and then just pick off a couple of the details on the uh, the face there and then we're going to take some more white and mix that in. That's probably about 50 50 for that little area. And then again, just pick off a few of the raised areas of the, the uppermost part. There we go. We can get that to focus. Right, and then the final couple of bits is just some of the sanguine scarlet. And this is for the uh, the tongue. Now in the card art, you see there are these symbols. I'm not going to put them because they are so small, they are a minute detail and they are going to make the bandages look a bit messy um, with them on there. If you want you could maybe do some, use some, some of the red and just sort of do some spots of blood or something, but personally I'm just going to leave it. And then back to the white star going to try and hopefully pick out the one uncovered eye there and then these teeth at the top and hopefully the ones at the bottom I'm just sort of touching the very point of the brush and then on the bottom just sort of using the 
side of the tip of the brush. If you want, you can go ahead and do his toenails as well. You don't want them quite white, just mix in a little bit of that blue gray or a little bit of black just to get a slightly off white. You can even mix in maybe a little bit of the, uh, well, any of the colors really, and you'll get a, an off white of a slightly different tint. tongue a little bit more just to brighten it up a bit. If you want to really brighten it up you could do it in white first and then have the red over the top but I think that is fine there. So there we go that's the, uh, the mummy that's with his art Yes, I've probably gone a little bit more blue than what is in here, but I think it does look pretty good. Um, bandage is not far off. Like I say, this one has the red markings, and then it's got like this sort of a lot more texture in it, but we're just aiming for a similar look. So, uh, yeah, that is the end of the video, guys. Again, as always, the brush, uh, the brush, the base I'm going to work on once I've decided on the overall theme for them all. Um, a huge thank you again to uh, Transatlantic, Transatlantis Games and uh, Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy Tooth and Coats for sending me these paints to be able to do this series for you. And if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button or that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Let's build a build those numbers up. To everyone who has recently subscribed, a huge warm welcome to you. Thank you for your support. But until next time guys, that's all from me. So take it easy and keep painting those minis.